Do you have some songs that are finished and they're ready to be recorded? And you're in that stage where you need to make that decision of, do I buy some equipment, invest that money, and also the time and effort to learn all the skills to use all these things? Or should I take that money and pay a professional and use all their skills so I can just focus on my music? Is there somewhere in between that would work best for me? Well, maybe we should have a think on that. Hello and welcome to the 145 World Podcast, where we are here to strengthen music careers and communities one song at a time. And now here's your host, Jacob Wing. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's episode. Today we're talking about the benefits of having a home studio versus using a professional studio. We're going to give you five good reasons for each of those. And then we'll talk a little bit more about maybe there's something in the middle that might work for you. So without wasting too much time, let's get right into the good juicy stuff. First thing I want to talk about is five great reasons for you to invest in yourself, your own equipment, and go from there. So what are the top five reasons to have a good home studio. Number one is it's cost effective. So although up front you'd be paying almost as much as you would to go hire a studio and use them and pay a professional to do that, you could invest in yourself and have that equipment at home and go from that direction. Now, like I said, that's going to be about the same amount of money. It's going to be pretty comparable, but Going forward, no matter how many times that you're going to want to record or whatever, you already have the equipment because you purchased it, you took the time, you have it in place. And having all that stuff ready to go right there, owning it yourself, can pay dividends going down the line. If you're talking over years, you're talking long term for your career, if you're thinking that direction, it's a pretty great investment. It sucks up front, but it's a great investment. And best thing about used gear is that if you're pretty savvy about it and use one of our, we have great videos that can show you how to get the most, buy the best used gear or sell your gear for the best price possible. Using those methods, you're going to get a pretty good return on that investment if you decide to go a different direction. Maybe you want to start doing this, but in the future, move on to using a professional studio. You can sell all this gear that you're not using at a decent price, get a good return on your money. And, and go from there. So there's lots of great options there. The second great reason to use a home studio is convenience and flexibility. And what we mean by that is that with having a home studio, you aren't booking somebody's time. You aren't waiting on other people. You can just wake up, go flip some switches, and just start recording. Another great caveat of that is that if that inspiration hits, if you just have that moment of, wow, I just had this great ear. I just played this. I was practicing and this great riff came up and I know this could be a whole song. You don't have to wait. You just go to your studio, you know, start recording and capture that great idea right then and right there. Um, the other part that comes with that is that you're not in a time crunch and you don't have to have a fully complete song going into your recording. You can do it piece by piece over time, which is fantastic. You know, today I'm just going to work on getting my guitar parts down or today I'm going to get the piano part down, the keyboard parts, you know, then I'll work vocals another day and then I'll work on some bass parts another day. You know, there's no time crunch or this needs to be done right now because that's the time we have. And, And that can be so, so gratifying. It can help you grow as a songwriter, as a producer, you know, being able to let a song grow into what it is naturally just because you have that option is a huge win. Number three we're going to talk about here is skill development and learning. Uh, We kind of mentioned this in the opening, but with this, with that investment of money up front, with all this new gear, with taking on such a challenge of producing and recording your own music, there is a learning curve just like there's with anything else. Now, the best part about this is there's endless information available. Obviously, as you know, YouTube is a great resource. Uh, There's so much information. There's so many how-tos. It doesn't matter what you're using, what you choose to record with, which DAW, which piece of equipment, your audio interface, 
there's something on there that'll give you a walkthrough, a how-to, how to get that done, how to get the best results, all those kind of things. It problems you run into, you know, how to fix this, you know. But that comes at a cost of your time. And that is a very, very important resource that you have. And giving that up, and I, I, again, it's the same thing as the cost effectiveness part is it's a huge in, investment in your time going forward. But the best part is if you're thinking about this long term as this is my career, you now have all those skills. You have all that knowledge. Even if you decide later that you're just going <clears> to <throat> exclusively use professional studios, you can go in there with the knowledge of, hey, this is what I need. This is the sound I'm achieving. Here's how we're going to do it. It just things become more fluid and you become you know, more knowledgeable in how this gets done. It's, it's a lifelong skill that you get to keep. And that's a huge, huge win. The fourth thing we'll talk about with the great reasons to have a home studio is, of course, creative control. Now, it's not so much that you don't have control in different situations. But again, when there's a time constriction from some some other outside source, be that, you know, I have to have this. I only have so many hours in the studio to do this. I book for so many days, whatever it may be. You're making very quick and, you know, just what's ever effective for the song and getting getting the work done at the time and that kind of loses a bit of the, your creative control just because you, you don't have that flexibility of let me think on this for a bit or maybe let's try you know a a version b version and c version and pick between the three and see which works that's kind of a, a headache sometimes but if you have a home studio none of that's not a problem you have as much time take as do as many takes as you want try different effects whatever it may be you have that creative control the other thing, of course, is that you don't have, you know, if you're just doing it by yourself and this is a one man project here, there's no outside influences from, you know, other band members that you can have. You know, you always see those rockumentaries where people are having those arguments and they're upset and they're unhappy and, you know, they want it this way. And, they, you know, those creative differences where they're clashing, they're batting, they're butting heads. You don't have that issue, you know. And you don't have to deal with also trying to communicate to others sometimes that's one of the hardest parts of this job is learning to say what you want done hey i want to achieve the sound i just don't know how to get what's in my head over to you and that's a really important skill to develop but it, when you start it's really hard and can be very frustrating so again if you have all the creative control it's something you don't really have to deal with the last one we're going to talk about number five top reasons to have a home studio is comfort and privacy. And this kind of feeds into creative control, but being able to, again, to wake up, you have a song idea or you're in the middle of a project, wake up in your pajamas at whatever time you want, grab a cup of coffee, you know, casually slide into your recording studio and get the work done at a, a nice and convenient pace, take a break, have some lunch, come back in the evening when you had a little more time, do a more, couple more hours of work, all while just in the comfort of your own home, your own bedroom, your own studio, your own space can make such a huge difference of I'm relaxed and everything's, you know, it's done on my pace. I'm not feeling this, this existential dread of getting this done or, you know, letting others down. None of that. You're just comfortable, happy and in your own place. Hi there and welcome to the ad break. We're just going to take a moment to let everybody know about our community of growing members. And if you'd like to be a part of that, just look at the info below and there will be a click there for an email sign up to join in and get your voice heard. As well as if you're enjoying this content, please join our Patreon at patreon.com slash the numbers 145 world. There you can join any of our groups. And you can add to the discussion of what topics we will choose that will help you and hopefully future members of our groups, as well as join monthly Q&As and other such benefits. Again, that's patreon.com slash the numbers 145 rural, and we look forward to seeing you there. Now, back to that regularly scheduled episode and enjoy that content. Thanks again. All these have their own cons to them, of course, but that's not what we're talking about today. Just the five best reasons that you should invest in having your own home studio. The next one we're going to talk about here is the pro studio. What are the five best reasons for you to choose to pay somebody else or go to a, a studio to record your music? Number one best reason 
is, of course, as we were talking about all that investment gear in yours, a studio, you're going to have access to higher end gear that you can't invest in right now. It's just the truth of the matter. Because they've had so much time and and so much experience dealing with this, they're going to have a much bigger tool set to pull from than you're going to have at home. It's almost always the case, especially when you're starting out. Um, And of course, what comes with that is that they're going to have this huge selection of, you know, compressors, EQs. They're going to have outboard gear. They're going to have so many different things that you just usually don't get to start out with. And you don't have to put that investment up front. Somebody else took care of that and you can just walk in and use it. It's fantastic. And half the time, especially in the beginning, you don't know what those things do. You don't know how they affect the sound or how to dial those things in. You just step up like, hey, that's great. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to put this, you know, $1,500 compressor on there. And just because I know I like the sound of it on other records, I've heard it. You know, you can just walk in and do that. It's pretty fantastic. Number two top reason why you should, why you would choose a professional studio versus your home studio is the expertise of that engineer or producer, whatever it may be. You know, usually there's a lot of them wearing the same hat these days. Um, But again, when we were talking about you have to invest all this time and energy into learning the skills, watching the videos, reading all the, uh, the forums to learn all these things. Somebody else already did that. And it'll save you an immense amount of time just using their expertise, learning from them, letting them use what they've learned, you know, letting them guide you through this recording and and producing experience. And and you don't have to deal with that. You get to focus just on your music. You can't beat that, especially if that's all you're really interested in. You never really wanted anything to do with, you know, learning how to dial an EQ and, and exactly what frequencies need to be enhanced or subtracted or whatever it may be none of that crap just hey i've got the song you record it and let's let's use your expertise that's a huge huge time save and really if you want to focus just on the music and its highest quality that you can make that performance it's a great win number three we're going to talk about here is going to a professional studio is it's nice to step into a dedicated workspace that's not also dedicated to something else. It's just there to to record music. You know, they've usually got treated sound uh, for the treated or treated walls, treated environment to get the best sound possible. Uh, it's usually something you don't invest into much later into your career as as a home studio owner. You know, it's like step one hundred and fifty when it comes to putting together a home studio. Usually, when you're investing your own money. Those are the kind of things that you aren't going to have to deal with. You just step into a place that's designed to capture recordings. They know exactly the best location, the best, the best way to get those sounds, you know, to make sure that the, the product that you're putting out there is the best possible. It needs the less, the least amount of editing to sound good because they've taken the time to treat that room and all those kind of, the space is just ready to record. The fourth best reason, of course, to use a professional studio over a home studio uh, feeds right into that again of as just your time and uh, your project accountability feeds into that too. So the first part of that is that the time, again, where we're saying you don't have to invest your time into learning all that stuff and picking up these skills and refining those skills. You just get to focus again on the product, on your performance. That's huge. The other side of that is the project accountability. When we were saying earlier that it's nice to have your own studio because you can just step in and work at your own pace, a problem with that is that it can stretch out over years. And I have seen it happen. And you really don't want that. You want, if it's so much better if there's somebody on the other end saying, hey, I have other clients. I'm working. You know, this has to be done by, you know, this amount of time. Come in with your songs ready. Let's record them. I'll get them back to you. We'll go from there. It gives you this amount of time where things are said and done. And you're moving on to your next project, which becomes so important moving on forward in your career, having that momentum. You know, it's one song, onto the next song, you know, onto the EP, onto the album, whatever it may be. If you're not stuck in the same place, it's such a huge win. So having somebody else that's saying, hey, here's the project needs to be done by this, you know, having that accountability can be so, so helpful. And sometimes it's a pain in the butt. It really is. But it's better than not getting things done. 
Number five, and the last one we're going to talk about is a huge win for having a pro studio, is network and collaboration. <clears throat> and one of the huge drawbacks of having your own studio, doing your own project, being that one man band, is that you're just on your own. So you have nothing to to give you that that guiding hand or even that helpful feedback of, hey, this is a great idea, or maybe that's not our best sound. Maybe this isn't, aren't the strongest lyrics. Hey, that's kind of stupid. Maybe, maybe you need to think a different way to do this. Um, you know, just for instance, but being, having somebody else in the room to bounce those ideas off of, of, you know, I'm thinking about doing this with a song. I'm going to go right in from that, that first, that first verse into a bridge, like, oh, hey, well, whoa, 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 maybe that's too soon for a bridge. Let's get another chorus and verse in and then, then we'll switch it up a bit. Let's let them get used to the song. You know, having a different set of ears can be so invaluable. Now, the other part of that is that the best part about music is honestly the community you build with the others around you in your area, in your, you know, in your genre, whatever it may be, you know, building that network of friends, that community of friends is, and other, other musicians and fans and whatever it may be is the best part of music. And you don't have that working from just your studio. And especially if you do that for years and years, you wind up you wind up missing out on, on so many opportunities that you didn't know you could have had had you gone a different direction using a studio, interacting with that person. Then you become part of their network and, and they're able to kind of use their their knowledge and their connections to kind of help you, you know, get your name out there. You're taking pictures of the studio. Usually you're sharing social media stuff and you you have access to their whole network of people that will then see that you're you're doing this this huge thing. You're recording music. That, that gets out. You get to share that. That's such a huge win that you never think about. And then it can lead and snowball, you know. It, it leads into so many other things that you just never would have thought of. And the other thing is, of course, the collaboration aspect. Usually you may not have all the best skills and, and you might need to have them do separate things. Like, I don't know how to do drums. Can you take care of the drum track for me? Or can you, I don't really record bass. You know, you're using them as a collaborator. And then if you can go further, you have access to usually their session musicians. If it's a professional studio, they, they know all the best musicians or they have access to some of the best musicians, you know, around, you know, their, the area, in your states, in the country, in the world. Be, just the way that things are able to be done now they have access to all those things which can make take your music take your recordings to that that next level and really help you break out so those are the top five reasons to consider going for a professional studio um let's talk about now using a mix of both of those and the thing about that of course is that it's just like everything else it's never black and white should it be a or should it be b it's rarely that way with this, we're going to talk about, you know, what are your options with doing a little bit of both? And I've seen as a running a studio myself, the whole spectrum of clients doing this. And, and for example, I've had clients come in who have done the home recordings thing themselves. They've done everything. They've recorded every instrument. They've done all the vocals. They've done literally everything that can possibly be done except for just the, you know, the final mixing and the mastering. And they'll bring that entire project to me, you know, and then I'll take care of it from there. I'll take, I'll use all what I have, all the processing I have, all the equipment I have and get a, a good mix and master for them. And then it's done. Uh, but they, they invested all this stuff. They learned all the skills. We were able to communicate very well because, you know, they had done all the work. They were able to formulate what they wanted their head to me, you know, to communicate what they wanted back and forth very well because they had done all the work. So I've seen that aspect. I've seen the exact opposite of that, where they come in with no knowledge whatsoever, no idea how to do this. I have a song. Let's just record it. Tell me how to do this. You know, and it worked well for that artist because they didn't they didn't want anything to do with that part of the the music, that part of the uh, the creation process. They just wrote the songs. They were great at performing it. You know, they had that personality. They had everything. And it was just up to me to make sure that that song came out exactly as they wanted it to and work with them in that. Every end of the spectrum is okay. Um, 
You should usually have some form uh, of a studio. Just the most basic bare bones is, is usually a good place to start. Just because, like I said, and we we alluded to it a couple times there, having a way to capture your ideas as they're happening is a great thing to have at home or have in a bedroom or have somewhere quick access to. That's a huge win. But when it comes to choosing, you know, a home studio or professional studio, it's usually a, a today just based on how you know cost effective everything is and how easy it is to do. A good mix is is somewhere in the middle of, especially if you're getting good at it. You should always, if you can't afford it, send it off to be mastered by somebody else. Just because it's always nice to have that outside influence. You, They might hear things that you you became blind to through the process of doing this. You know, Always having another set of ears on things is a great thing. So those are just some thoughts. And, and always keep in mind that there's always a great mix of these. And if you have any questions on setting up your home studio or you know what it takes to get into the studio, we have a whole list on how to get prepared to go into a recording studio. Check those out. See you guys in the next one. Bye.